Now, it's almost a year late in finishing, but this weekend, 50,000 people will walk across this new newly built Queen's Ferry Crossing ahead of its official opening, which is on Monday. Marty couldn't wait, though, for the Queen to arrive, so got in first. <laughs> At a mile and a half in length, the Queen's Ferry Bridge is the longest of its type in the world, spanning the Firth of Forth, linking Edinburgh with Fife. And at 210 metres high, it's Britain's tallest. It's cost £1.35 billion and taken six years to build. I've been following the progress right from the start. First off, I came to find out why this bridge was needed. The original Forth Road bridge is supported by two main cables, which have started to corrode. Fixing the cables would mean shutting the bridge for four years whereas the new bridge has a key advantage built into its design. By using lots of steel cables rather than just two, the design allows the engineers to replace individual cables without having to shut the whole bridge down. One of the first jobs was to construct three huge towers. So how do you even get down to the sea floor to begin work? That was a fun day. The engineers used an ingenious device called a caisson, a huge metal tube which allowed them to dig out the seabed and lay the foundations directly onto the bedrock beneath. <laughs> this is amazing! I love it! So how, how far down are we? We are... I love it! So how, how far down are we? We are right now at minus 14, so 14 metres under the water level. By 2015, the engineers had reached a critical point as they started to construct the decking that would actually carry the traffic across the bridge. But rather than building it from the shorelines into the middle, they actually built it from the towers outwards, and it was a delicate balancing act. And these represent these huge steel lumps, one of which is behind me. And if I start attaching them like this, all well and good so far. But if I now attach a second part of the bridge here and attach it like this, as soon as I let the weight go on it, not so good. However, there is an ingenious engineering solution. This time, I'm going to add a piece of the decking first on one side and then on the other, and that should keep the tower balanced. I'm quite pleased with that. With the Scottish weather to contend with, the bridge was finally finished a year behind schedule. But it was on budget. And that brings us to today. But before I take my first trip across the bridge, just 24 hours after the first traffic was allowed onto it, there's somebody I want to talk to who's been on this journey for longer even than me. Michael Martin is the project's director. So from a personal perspective, this has been your every waking moment of work, I suppose. How does it feel now that it, it's done? Pride, um, for sure. Um, I guess in a couple of weeks' time, I'll start to feel a little bit lost, but uh, I don't have to get up at half past five again every morning. You have to live a job like this. You know? It is your life. So presumably your family are happy to get you back home. My wife's quite looking forward to having a husband back again. No doubt she's got a few jobs lined up for me as well, but not quite as big as this one, I hope. So what's next? Another bridge? This is basically the end of my, my career. I'm 65 now, so this is my last job. Uh, and uh, oh, what a way to finish a, a career in civil engineering. Can't be beaten. Well, Michael can put his feet up knowing it's a job well done. And one more thing for me to do, drive over the bridge myself. Now, for some people, this will become just every day's commute. But I think that this is the most beautiful engineering structure in the whole of Great Britain. He could be right. It's, mm. it's very impressive, isn't it? And lovely at night as well. Oh, lovely at night. Oh, it's lovely and at no night. Restaurants, they light up in a beautiful... No restaurants. <laughs> no. They let us down. They did. But, I mean, look, you could open one if you want. You never. I mean, one at each end. Edge. Yeah. yeah. Hey, let's talk about the new book. Yep. I think this is your best one so far. Am I allowed to say that? Oh, it seems like there it's turning it out a bit. It's a 